Hi guys, welcome to another episode of the Clueless Drinker. I was just about to make myself some fish fingers, but uh, then I went on to the BrewDog website and made my first order on the website. Um, I picked up the Hinterland and the Mashtag 2015 and a Teku glass, um, which I've had delivered back to the UK. Um, basically because if I go back for Christmas, then I can review them when I get back home, but if not, they're very high ABV beers, so they might age pretty well. So um, yeah, very excited to try those ones. Anyway, why am I talking about BrewDog? Uh, basically because the brewery that I am talking about today, or at least one of their beers I'm talking about, are responsible for bringing BrewDog over to Germany. So I thought it's a nice little celebration of my first BrewDog order, and it's a brewery that I've wanted to try one of their own beers for absolutely ages. The only beer that I've tried from this brewery was one of their collaborative efforts that they did with Braukunst Keller, which is a fantastic brewery. Every beer that I've tried, or beer I've tried two of them, both of them collaborative efforts, have been really nice. Um, but yeah, today's beer is from a brewery called Hofmark, and it's the Hell beer, or the original Hell, I should say. This one is clocking in at 5.1%. Quick look at the cap really nice typography on the flip top cap and uh, yeah really nice and simple labeling and uh, yeah it's a very pretty beer indeed it's not too chilled so the flavor shouldn't be too impaired but i do like lagers every now and then they're really good go-to beers so anyway let's pop the cap some nice smoke it pretty much left as i lifted it up Got my uh, vice beer glass, which I haven't cleaned since trying the Bishop's of beer. So uh, yeah, let's pour this. And that is really nice, pale, crisp looking already. In the glass, it's not too bright, but it's almost like a very light strawy colour. Um, it's picking up a lot better on the camera. It looks a bit more brighter on the camera, more colourful. Uh, but yeah, not too much going on in terms of carbonation, it has to be said. And I poured this with just around one small finger's worth of white, bordering on off-white, fluffy head. Some nice compact bubbles in there with some bigger bubbles. And uh, yeah, it's a very pretty looking hell hellers already. So um, yeah, let's give it a swirl and a sniff. You're immediately hit by those hops in there. I'm almost, almost getting kind of like an orange peel, but that's very, it's very, very slight in the background. It's got a nice dankness to it. It's, you can pick up those hops in there. It's not too hoppy, which is to be expected from a, you know, traditional Hellers. But yeah, it smells dank, it smells like a basement, it smells nice to me. Um, I know that's not the prettiest description of a beer scent, but um, yeah, it smells like a really nice Hellas. They are almost getting like um, fruity caramel malts in there as well. Very, very slight, almost peppery notes. And you get some grassy notes in there as well. But yeah, all in all, it smells like a really nice balanced Hellas. Let's give it a taste. It's got almost like a biscuity malty flavour to it. Very, very solid body there. That malt presence is its definite. Very slightly spiced. That dankness that you're picking up in the sniff, it's not too evident, which is good on the taste. But yeah, I'm also getting like an oaty, biscuity flavour with this one. It's not as light and as crisp as you'd expect from most Hellas beers, but that is really good. That is really, really nice. It's not one of those beers that's overly flavoursome, but... For its style, that is a very strong effort indeed. And that's going down a treat. This is definitely drinkable, definitely sessionable. Ugh. 
I burped and foam came up. Yeah, it's really nice. It's nice and biscuity. It's not as summery or as crisp as beers of this sort are. And it's definitely, it's a lot more full of flavour than you would imagine, especially by looking at the colour of it. It looks really light, but it is packing the multi flavours in there. And that's what you're predominantly getting, albeit slightly spiced. You're not getting too much wheat, wheaty notes in there. Yeah, that is very good. That is very good indeed. It's a lot thicker on the, the mouthfeel than you would expect, again, from a Hellas. But yeah, all in all, that is a very, very well-rounded beer indeed. And that is going down a treat, seriously. That's one of the nicest Hellas beers that I've tried in a hell of a long time. See what I did there? Anyway, this is a really, really good beer. I'm very, very happy with this one. It does more than just its job. And although not as flavoursome as some of the other German beer varieties or craft beer varieties out there, this is a really nice, strong, traditional, well-balanced, flavoursome Heller's beer. And uh, yeah, I'm very, very happy that I finally got round to trying this one. And it's definitely a beer that I'd be picking up again in the future. You know what? That would be perfect for autumn when it's dark at like six o'clock in the evening pop open a couple of bottles of this it'll go down a tree and it's guaranteed to go down well with pretty much any meal i'm going to give this one an 8.5 out of 10. it's a fantastic hellas beer and if you ever see it you should definitely go out and buy it because it's just fantastic i love it it's really nice I've almost finished it already. Thanks for watching guys, and as always if you've tried this beer or any other beers from the Hofmark Brewery, then let me know your thoughts and opinions. If you've got any suggestions for Hellas beers that I should try, feel free to let me know because if they're German, chances are I can pick them up in one of the local supermarkets for really cheap. I'm so blessed to have an abundance of traditional, old-fashioned, classic beers surrounding me. As much as I love craft beer and flavoursome hoppy beers and all that sort of stuff, you know what? It's easier on the wallet. I can buy three or four of these bottles for the price of a 330ml craft beer. And I, I'm going to go for this stuff all the time because it's tasty, it does its job, it's sessionable, it's a sociable drink, it's one that you can enjoy with friends, it just does its job but goes a bit more further. If you want to find out a bit more about the Hofmark Brewery, then I'll be putting links down below. If I can find any more well-informed reviews, then as always, I'll put them in the description box. And of course, if you want to check out any of my other beer reviews, then the Coolest Drinker playlist will be included down below. Thank you guys for watching, and until the next time, I'm going to enjoy the shit out of this beer.